This is going to be part seven of the series of tutorials for completing the word capstone. Uh, in the previous part, we got as far as completing step number 17 in the instructions, so we're up to step number 18. And it tells us on page five, which is the last page, to apply what's called a 24 point spacing before the paragraph that begins with the words, do you want to add, to separate it from the rest of the document. Here's what they're talking about. You see that after this bullet list, you, there's a paragraph that says, do you want to add? And they just want to put more space here. Now, the primitive way of doing this, people who don't know Word very well, is they keep pressing Enter to just kind of chase it down. But that's not the right way. What I am going to do is click right before. This is no need to select the whole thing. As, soon as, as long as I click right before the D of do, and I'm going to go to the fa uh, paragraph formatting window. Now, on Windows computers, you're going to find it under Home, and there's going to be right here in this section called the Paragraph section, a little icon that looks like an arrow, and as soon as you click it, it's going to pop up the Paragraph uh, dialog. On Mac, they put it in a slightly different place. They put it under Format, Paragraph, but as soon as I pop it up, it's going to look the same on Mac and Windows. It's going to have all the same options. It's got general indentation, things we don't need. What we need is spacing. And since I selected, I said, oh, before this paragraph, I want 24. Even gives me a preview of what that would look like. And I click OK. And it put a 24-point spacing above or before this paragraph. Save. Let's go back to the instructions. That was 18, 19. At the end of, do you want to add paragraph? Enter, and they, that means I'm going to probably copy it so I don't misspell it. They want this um, with the dot com, the whole thing. Copy. Uh, and press the space bar to format the email as a hyperlink. So at the end of the paragraph, so I'm going to find the end of this paragraph, do they mean here? Um, suggestions two, right here. And I'm going to either type or paste, and then hit space, and it turns it into a link. Let me save, make sure that it looks the way they have it in the screen capture of the finished Here it is. Yep, it chased, chased it into the next line. Now the color might change depending on whether you click on it or not, but it is a link and it uh, flowed, it wrapped into the next line, just like in mine. And we're going back to the instructions. And we were we're almost, you know, we're getting ready to finish this. Um, we did 19, we're on 20. In the address line paragraph, uh, uh, Wellhaven Insurance, blah, 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 replace the text insert bullet with an actual bullet, a filled circle, from the symbol library. So I'm going to find it. And you see it says insert bullet. I'm going to take this whole thing called insert bullet and take it out and instead I'm going to insert symbols are right here or advanced symbols and what I'm going to be looking for it's going to pop up like a dialogue in a second I hope here it is and what I'm going to uh, look for uh, I can search or you know symbols special characters I'm looking for a bullet which is a filled circle um, Let's see. It's just a matter of looking for it. It looks like a bullet or a filled circle. Are you hiding from me right now? Um, let's see where it is. I know it's like staring me in the face or special characters. No. It's in symbols. In the Greek characters. You know what? I'm going to stop this part 
of the tutorial and by the time I join you in the next part I will uh, find exactly which one I want to insert.